Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss the fundamental concept of product reliability using the bathtub curve. Okay, so what is that? Just the basic idea is whether you consider a sensor or you consider a small bulb up to a satellite, all the things are basically one product which is used but it has its own failure date okay so if we want to determine or get the idea of the failure date with respect to time then we go for the bathtub curve okay this gives us the idea of the rate of failure for a particular product with respect to time okay so this is this bathtub curve is basically fundamental concept of product reliability because from this curve if you know the failure rate with respect to time so you can get an idea of the product reliability right so basically obviously uh, our intention will be to plot uh, the failure rate in y axis and in uh, uh, time in the x axis and uh, we have to plot the curve okay intuitively we will understand what is happening obviously this is experimentally uh, uh, checked for different products and this curve fits uh, in most of the cases so that we are going for it but experimentally if we conclude something only one way is intuitively understanding the concept right otherwise experimental data will not make much feeling for a, some for some idea right so intuitively you just try to understand what happens suppose R, you consider early failure what is that suppose you just newly implemented some product okay for different there are several reasons due to which as just uh, after just implementation of the product in the uh, practical scenario, it may uh, get failure. Okay, what are the results? Suppose there may be microscopic defects in the material or in the product which are undetected during the quality control test. Okay, obviously most of the products pass, uh, uh, pass through the quality control test and if those uh, qualifies then only it uh, is sent to the market, right? But it may happen that there may be some microscopic de defect which are undetected, okay? So that if uh, the, suppose uh, that defected material you implement, then there and there after uh, uh, just uh, after implementation of that product, it may burn out, the electronic device may burn out or uh, the product may go to failure, okay? So this is one reason. Another one reason may be incorrect positioning, okay? Suppose uh, you have uh, placed some product or some electronics you just consider or some uh, uh, product, okay, fine. So consider some product which where it, you have placed, it is getting very huge amount of force, but actually it should not be operated by uh, in that um, huge amount of force. So that incorrect positioning may also lead to early failure, okay. Early failure means just after implementation of the product, if it goes to failure. Another may be electrical, mechanical, chemical or thermal stresses during the operation, sometimes exceeds those during product test, okay. What is that? Suppose you, uh, obviously for any product first there is quality control test is there. Suppose, uh, let me consider some electronics example. Suppose you have tested one electronic gadget is working up to 5 volt. Now, you have connected the, the uh, product is passed in the test. Now, you implemented the product. Now, after the implementation, due to some noise or something, wh where you have connected the device, the uh, incoming voltage exceeds 5 volt suddenly. As a result, what will happen? The product, the electronic gadget will burn out, right? It will... Uh, go to failure so that this is similarly same goes for mechanical or chemical or thermal stress also okay so this may, may be uh, some reasons uh, due to which products go to early failure okay so this is what we have got an idea that there are several reasons due to which product goes to early failure or just after implementation it may burn out now useful life is what useful life is if it crosses, suppose you have implemented some electronic device which is uh, working properly at the initial stages, then you may expect that it will work for some time more also. Like uh, you have, uh, uh, suppose in your room you have placed one electronic bulb which is uh, working uh, perfectly after implementation, then you can uh, get an idea that okay after uh, up to six or seven months uh, coming seven months or six months our this bulb will work properly no need to buy new bulb okay but 
this is what normal idea right so basically in this cases from the general or practical point of view practical daily life for examples itself are giving evidence that uh, if the device uh, is not failure in the in initial stages then it will go a certain time okay but uh, then also there is chance of failurity always there is a random uh, occurrence of stress maybe they are a random environmental condition maybe they are which may deteriorate the condition of the operation and uh, which will lead to the product failurity okay suppose you are you consider one bulb is glowing uh, for 2 hours okay uh, in useful life or uh, after the implementation of, of two, after 2 or 3 days the bulb is perfectly working now after suppose 2 months later uh, in the two months range also the bulb is perfectly working then two months later you are using the bulb in the bathroom and suddenly in uh, taking bath some amount of droplets of water go to that bulb okay and if water cold, cold water uh, get uh, contact with the hot bulb the bulb uh, glass may break right due to improper expansion so basically these are random environmental conditions okay so basically always there is uh, in this case also we cannot say that the failure rate is zero obviously failure rate will be there but this will decrease compared to the early early failure rate right from the intuitive understanding it is clear and now Suppose you have used the bulb for six to seven months, then what will happen? That after a long time usage, there is possibility that uh, the bulb may wear out due to its age. Okay, so uh, all the electronic gadget uh, has its own operate operation age. So after that, you can expect that the uh, bulb or the uh, gadget uh, may wear out okay or uh, go to failure why suppose you consider one bulb example only so what happens when wear out stage suppose uh, you turn on the bulb work for two hours the bulb will get heated up then you turn off the bulb then uh, if you turn off the bulb for a longer time it will get cooler then again you turn on again it will become hotter after some time of operation then again it will become cooler so all, all this thermal cycle uh, hot cold hot cold hot cold will make stress right whatever happens we have seen for our suppose you consider one building when uh, rain appears the buildings uh, walls becomes cooler and again after some time uh, when as, uh, in presence of sun uh, uh, sunny weather what will happen the it becomes dry okay so that this makes some cracks in the buildings also so this thermal cycles are main reason due to wear out you can assume intuitively like this so as the time increases after a certain time obviously you cannot expect that your uh, electrical gadget or any product will sustain for uh, infinite time right obviously it will go to failure so that if you complete uh, draw the complete graph what you will get just try to observe and from this graph uh, structure you will get the idea of the name okay see for how it is uh, suppose in y axis failure rate in x axis time is plotted so basically you you may classify uh, the region into three major heads one is early life where there is huge possibility that just after implementation the product may burn out or go to failure okay then there may be this region is useful region where there is random chance of failure is there but it is lesser and then there is wear out stage okay so as the time increases what will happen the failure rate will increase after very high amount of usage of time then here this is useful uh, time of the gadget or device or product where there is random failure chance is there but obviously failure rate is not equal to zero due to random environmental change or some other random stress the product may go to failure but in this range the general concept says that the product should not go to failure range okay after implementation if the bulb grows then you can get an idea that okay after next six or seven months the bulb will grow if sudden random change is not there now in the earlier stage what happens uh, due to several reasons like uh, due to some uh, microscopic cracks or uh, due to uh, improper design it may go to improper positioning 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, at the early life, what will happen just after implementation, there is huge failure rate. So just after implementation, huge failure rate, then as the time increases, this will decrease and it, it will go to useful time. Okay, so this is the basic idea. Now we just try to observe the graph of the failure rate versus time. See, this is almost looking like a bus stop, right? Okay, so, so that this is called bus stop. Curve. Okay, the reason for giving the name like uh, this uh, because the card looks like the bathtub shape. Okay, this is very important. So you should uh, just try to understand from your uh, domain point of view. Suppose you are electronics and communication engineer, then why you will study this? This is very important because you are implementing certain sensors. Up to what to what time it will work? Okay, you should have a clear idea in that. Suppose you are sending some satellite in space. Okay, in satellite communication also, this is a very important issue to study for engineers. Okay, if you uh, take the satellite communication course, then you will uh, study in detail about this. Okay. So, you are sending uh, satellite in space. It is not possible to repair the satellite, uh, okay, easily, right? It is possible, but it is very hard. It is sent in space. No, There is no chance of uh, much uh, maintenance of the satellite, right? So, in those cases, the designers have to design or make certain environment that so that the useful time, that is this region, becomes very high okay so that this satellite can work in this space properly for a long time okay so this idea is very important whether you are considering sensors and instrumentation or sensors and measurement course as well as satellite communication course okay five marks question comes from this that is what is bath of curve explained with respect to product reliability concept okay this is all for my this video thank you for watching